Because we are writing a paper on the solar polar magnetic fields and earthquakes, we've now spent hundreds of hours studying the patterns and forces of those fields. I have pretty good reason to doubt whether the sun's pole reversal is actually over yet. Here are the solar polar fields since 1976, when Stanford began keeping their records. The blue is the north and the red is the south. The green is the average polar force of both poles together. We know the sun's poles flip at solar sunspot maximum, but you can see that the reversals are, quite logically, at the polar minimum. Likewise, the solar sunspot minimum takes place where the sun's poles are at maximum strength. When we zoom in, we can see that despite the many oscillations of the sinusoids, there are not significant events like peaks, troughs, or reversals every day. Only a handful actually over years time. What we are seeing is the detection of alternating strong points in the total solar field system. North is stronger, then south, then north, then south. And every sunspot cycle, the fields reverse polarity. Positive, negative, negative, positive. Interestingly, this oscillation may be an anomaly of Earth's orbit, as it is almost uniformly a one-year oscillation cycle for both poles. Some scientists have pegged the difference between our orbital plane and the solar equator as the genesis of that cycle. The current question is this, has the solar pole reversal completed for this cycle, or is it still in progress? This has been a very long reversal. NASA thought it would be over a year ago. Prominent commenters called out the finale multiple times over the last two years. But the northern field, in blue, has thus far refused to cooperate. The south was positive last cycle, and is properly on the negative side now. But north needs to be positive this coming cycle, and despite multiple jumps into positive territory, it appears the journey isn't over yet. Our latest update from Stanford, valid up through the second week of October, shows that the fields in the north are about to break back into negative territory, which would mean that the reversal is not complete. And we look back one year ago to see what part of the oscillation we should be in now. We see that September and October are peaks in magnetism towards positive, after which it declines sharply towards negative. And that may be exactly what we see now. I'd go so far as to say the available evidence as of now suggests that the polar reversal has not yet completed. This is important for validation of the hypothesis embodied in the paper we are writing and to take one more baby step towards eventually predicting a big quake.